Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is very important update and detailed update on A E 2024 which is Amrita University entrance test and I am going to talk about the counseling process with respect to all the dates which you should note it. So you should not miss it basically. So their counseling is called CSAP which is basically centralized seat allocation, allocation uh, process, right? So procedure CSAP counseling. So this year CSAP counseling has registration has already started 28th May 2024. So if you want to participate there, you have to register on their CSAP counseling portal. And that is the first step. So next is the declaration of A 2024 rank list, which is going to be out on 30th May 2024, right? And then 8th June onwards the registration for counseling is going to close so before that you have to register and from 8th june onwards they are going to start something called trial allotment so this is not the actual allotment this is one sort of a mock allotment this will give you idea that whatever choice filling or the option entry you are making is that correct or because is that giving you good branch or not if it is not giving then you will be given opportunity basically to edit it and so candidates registering for csap you know up to 8th june only will be allowed for trial allotment and candidates registering for csap after 8th june will not be allowed for trial allotment but they will be allowed only for first round allotment directly so that is the important date and no Note that the result of the trial allotment is going to be out on 13th June, right? So 13th June, you should be able to open the counseling portal and check what is the you know branch allotted to you in the trial allotment phase, right? And then you are free to edit this trial allotment seat so that you can get better seat in the actual first round, which is the first round seat allotment. So the trial seat allotment editing will start from 13th June and it will go up to 14th June. So basically two days times are given for editing your preference order and you are free to do that up and down based on the uh, you know, trial allotment which you have got. And the actual first round allotment is going to happen on on 16th June so that is the seat you will be allotted the, on the first round will be on 16th June and then 17th June onwards they will basically start the second round allotment process right so registration for second round will start from 17th June and 22nd June is again the last state to pay the initial fees of 1 lakh rupees and this is applicable for students who have got the seat in the first round. So first round students should compulsorily pay 1 lakh rupees to block their seat by 22nd June and 22nd June is also considered as the closing date for the CSRAP registration for second allotment. After that you cannot allow, you know, register for the second round. So 22nd June is also important. And 25 5th June is basically when the result of the second round allotment is going to be done. So candidates again will be offered seat in the second round uh, based on their choice filling by 25th of June that is the second round. 6th July will be last date for payment of the remaining fees right for the first round of students. So first round of students first paid 1 lakh rupees by 22nd June and then they are expected to pay and if, uh, all the remaining fees by 6th of July and last date to pay fee, uh, full fees for those who got the allotment in the second round is also the same. So 6th uh, July remains the important date that you should have paid all the fees all of, of first or sound, second round you would have got seats right and 31st July is basically when the CSAP registration opens for the third and the subsequent round. So that is not guaranteed but based on some vacant seats they can do third and the fourth round and for that CSAP registration will happen only in 31st July. Uh, right and the third and six for third and successive allotments right you students need to basically keep on checking the a triple e or the amrita university website after 10th july right and uh, third allotment is basically for those students who have opted for upgrade and paid the full fees right so if you have paid the full fees and there are some vacancy you can basically get an upgrade so wait for that 
and next it is for students who are not allotted any seat in the second round they can be allotted in the third round and if some more students wants to register for this counseling of the vacant seat then they can newly registered candidates are also allowed in the third phase so that's all the overall schedule don't miss it all the dates uh, i have to cover thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on a triple exam take care and bye